welcome to chemistry lover this is after a long time and this time i am back with full preparation so from now on you will be getting regular videos and updates in this channel and on my website so stay connected now uh, let us start with our today's video so in this video i will be talking about this particular question from uh, csir net exam june 2023 but I want to tell you one thing that uh, watch this video till the end because at the end I have a very important announcement for you so don't skip that part. Now without further delay let's start our today's topic. So this is our question given uh, you can see in the question we have this, uh, this particular thing as one component and this is other component the aldehyde. So we have one aldehyde part and other is one alkene part but in that alkene we have a living group OTF a living group right. So uh, this is reacted with the reaction condition is here chromium chloride and nickel chloride but nickel chloride is used in catalytic amount. So what will be the product you have given with four options you have to tell what will be the product. Now this is a very well known name reaction and if you know the reaction you can predict the product very easily. So the name of the reaction is uh, Nozaki Hiyamakishi reaction ok. So, this is the reaction this is a general scheme and in this reaction you can see uh, the aldehyde part is reacting with this uh, alkyl halide in this case or it may be some other living group the, the X may be some halide or it may be OTF, OTS all these things. But uh, the important thing is this R prime must be allyl group or vinyl group ok. So, this is very important and uh, if you react this to in presence of this reaction condition the uh, chromium chloride and nickel chloride. So, it may be chloride or bromide anything like that. So, basically you, you need uh, chromium 2 and nickel 2 these two species and you will get this coupling product ok. Uh, so, now let us look into the mechanism. So, this is the mechanism the mechanism starts from here where nickel 2 is oxid uh, act actually reduced to nickel 0 uh, with the help of chromium 2. So, chromium 2 helps to uh, reduce nickel 2 to nickel 0. So, this is very important step. Now, this nickel 0 is actually undergoing the oxidative addition with this R prime X to give you this metal complex. Now, uh, in step 3 we have this transmetallation or metal exchange. So, uh, this R prime and this X group they migrates from nickel 2 to chromium 3 ok. So, this is a very important step this is cross step and you can see we have started with chromium 2, but uh, in this step we are using chromium 3. So, that is actually generated in step 1. So, step 1 is very important first of all it is generating nickel 0 which is uh, which is inducing this oxidative addition and at the same time it is generating nickel 3 and that is used here. And in this step 2 after uh, the um, nickel 2 is formed you can see the nickel 2 is regenerated here. So, when uh, metal exchange or transmetallation will occur we will get back nickel 2. So, that is why we need nickel 2 in catalytic amount. Now, uh, this chromium species this uh, chromium metal complex. Uh, it is now coordinating with this aldehyde the carbonyl group of this aldehyde will coordinate with it and then the R prime will migrate on to the carbonyl group and you get this metal complex. Now, simple hydrolysis will give you the coupling product and you generate nickel uh, chromium 3. So, we started from chromium 2 and we are getting chromium 3 right and this chromium 3 will again be used here, but this is not in catalytic amount right because this chromium 3 is not a simple chromium 3 it is actually chromium 3 oxide ok. So, that cannot be uh, used for the formation of this metal complex. So, that is why we need chromium uh, 3 in stoichiometric amount and we need nickel 2 uh, in uh, uh, catalytic amount because we are regenerating it. So, this is the mechanism. Now, if we uh, go back to our actual question, uh, so we have this part and this part. So, basically uh, this part and this part they will undergo the coupling reaction. So, if we couple this we will get this as our product. This is a very simple if you know the actual reaction. So, our correct answer will be option 4 right. So, this is how you can answer this question. Now, I have your I have, I have the announcement for you. So, 
I am starting a particular course on organic reaction mechanism. The name of the course is organic reaction mechanism A to Z. So, in this course you will get live and recorded video lectures and doubt solving sessions, test series and premium study materials. So, all these things you are going to get in this particular course. Uh, I will bring a detailed course announcement for this particular course in this channel. So, for that stay connected. Right now, if you have any query about this course, you can ask me in this uh, email address. I, or I will be attaching a Google form link about the course survey. You can fill that form if you are interested and the course will be starting from uh, August 13. Okay? So, hurry up and that is for you. So, thank you for watching and have a good day.